Hey guys, this is eMeek77, and I'm here with a little QuickTime Pro tutorial. There's a lot of people who want to know some secrets about QuickTime Pro, and I'm here to show you what it's all about. So I have a couple QuickTime Pro movies here. As you can see, here's one. Over here, I got one. And I also have text edit and the menu. And we're going to show, I'm going to show you what that's all about at first. But first, let me show you a little quick shortcut. If you hit Command-J, it'll bring up this little box which will let you have see your annotations, your resources, your presentation and your audio settings. Now this gives you a way to adjust your audio in QuickTime. As you can see, you can if your audio clip too low, you can turn your volume way up, you can turn your bass all the way up and your treble. So this is a little hidden menu that a lot of people don't know about. If you've got clips that are just too low, the volume too low, you can see if this right here will help you pretty nice little hidden feature. If you go up here and select or or um, as you say it says video track, soundtrack, video track because I have two QuickTime videos open it's going to list a video and an audio track for both videos and of course there's a text track where I put in the um, subtitle. So say on this one movie right here I don't want my sound. I'm done with my sound. So I'll find it. You'll notice there's a video track too and a sound track too. So there's, this is the video for my second movie and there's the sound for my second movie. So if I check this checkbox, it removes the sound. It takes away all sound and you just got the video. Same way goes for this other checkbox. If you uncheck the video box, it takes away the video and all you're left with is the soundtrack. Now I'm going to get to a couple menu features. As you can see, I got two QuickTime videos here. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go over to this video, and as you can see, down here in the timeline, there's these little markers which let you select certain parts of your video. So if I selected this part of my video, went up to edit, and hit cut, it would cut that part of my video. But I don't want to do that. I've got a certain part of my video selected so what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and hit copy. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back over here to my video, my other video, set everything to normal. I'm going to move my playhead to the end. Now if I go up to the edit menu and hit add to movie, boom it stitches those two movies together. It's added that portion of the movie I copied and pasted to the end of this movie. It just stitched them together. So this is a way you edit your movies together in Final in QuickTime Pro. It's not limited to just working on one movie at a time. You can actually edit clips together, actually edit separate movies together by doing it this way. That is just one, one way to do it. Now I'm going to show you a way to add subtitles. So if I go to text edit and I enter something in here. I'm going to enter uh, Macintosh is great. And I'm going to highlight it. Now I'm going to go up to edit and hit copy. Now I'm going to go back to my QuickTime. I'm going to go up to edit and select add to selection and scale. And click that. And boom! As you can see it throws a subtitle right here below my movie. You can't, I don't, I'm not probably sure if you can see it real well on YouTube, but there it is. And those are some three quick little neat things you need to know about QuickTime and QuickTime Pro. If you have any questions, you guys get a hold of me, and uh, we'll see you next time.